Salam, Namaste, and Hello. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another camera comparison video. Yeah, today I have this Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. I have done a lot of camera comparison videos with this Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, but this Sony Xperia 1 Mark III, this one is new for me. I have been using this for like uh, five days now and I'm not that uh, surprised. <laughs> Okay, I'm not that surprised because performance is awesome. I'm talking about overall performance and the display. Yeah, of course, that's one of the best, even speaker system. That's great. But I'm here to talk about camera performance. I do a lot of camera comparison videos in this channel. If you're into camera comparison thing or camera review thing, then I wish that you would check my other camera comparison videos. Well, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. What's up everybody? Welcome to another camera comparison video. Today I have this Sony Xperia 1 Mark III and a Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra. A lot of subscribers have requested for this video, so the video is here. Yeah. Sony Xperia 1 Mark III is a really a very expensive smartphone. It costs around 1,400 US dollars in China. And till now, this one is only released in China. So if the price in China is around 1,400 US dollars, I can guess that uh, yeah, when it gets released in other countries, price will get a bit increased. Anyway, check carefully which smartphone camera is doing better, which microphone is working better and today is like 38 degrees celsius outside but i'm doing this only for my subscribers and viewers so at the end if you feel like this video is helpful if you end up liking this video then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel don't forget to make a comment and let me know which smartphone front camera actually did better okay it's time to flip to rear cameras at the beginning, let me tell you, Mi 11 Ultra comes with a 5x periscope lens and there is a flagship class 48 megapixel sensor sitting behind that lens. Sony Xperia 1 Mark III offers a variable optical zoom, 2.9x and 4.4x. These photos were taken at 5x on Mi 11 Ultra and 4.4x on Xperia 1 Mark III. At a glance, both of the photos looks good, however, after cropping in, do you see the differences? A lot of people would say this is unfair to compare 5x periscope lens with a 4.4x telephoto lens. If this is unfair, then comparing 2.9x optical zoom images of Xperia 1 Mark III with digital zoom images of Mi 11 Ultra would also be unfair. Am I right? But we have to do all the comparisons to find a winner among these two. And yeah, after cropping in Mi 11 Ultra digital zoom image has more details, finely processed textures less noise with enough sharpness. Here is another set of 5x and 4.4x zoom images. After heavily cropping in, the differences are even more clearly visible. Mi 11 Ultra picked up more details, processed textures with enough sharpness. Most importantly, Mi 11 Ultra kept the color tone correct, maintained vibrant shadows with good contrast. These are 12.5x zoom photos. Yes, that's the boundary for Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. It cannot go beyond 12.5x. I'm sure a lot of Xperia fanboys will bash this video, will bash this channel. But this is truth and truth hurts. This was expected that it would be difficult for a 12 megapixel sensor to compete with a flagship class 48 megapixel sensor tagged with a periscope lens. Yes, both have OIS, but aperture of Mi 11 Ultra periscope lens is way behind. It's 4.1 compared to Xperia 1 Mark III's 2.8. I had better expectations from Xperia 1 Mark III, but in reality, Mi 11 Ultra did perform better to grab more light Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra processed with magic. Pictures are sharper with more details and textures, structural details, shadow details, and tonal contrast. Everything is way better than Xperia 1 Mark III. Color rendition and white balance definitely is different between these two. Sony Xperia 1 Mark III offers good photos with its variable focal length, but that's not any match to Mi 11 Ultra's 5x periscope lens. If you haven't used any Sony Xperia smartphones, 
then you may not know there is no dedicated portrait mode in stock camera application. But there is option for bokeh effect. Most interestingly, when all the settings are correct, we can take bokeh photos in different focal length. These bokeh photos are taken at 105mm focal length, in easy words, at 4.4x zoom on Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. Mi 11 Ultra always depends on the main sensor for bokeh photos and then applies digital cropping to give it a 50mm portrait look. Definitely, we need long space cause we have to stand a bit far from the subject to take good 105mm focal length portrait photos with Xperia 1 Mark III and the result is pretty average. If you want, of course, you can take portrait photos with the main sensor at 24mm focal length but that's not as lucrative and there are some sort of skin smoothing effect added along with fair skin tone. Nothing crazy, but side by side Mi 11 Ultra looks better. Rather, I prefer to use that 2.9x zoom, 70mm lens for portrait photos on Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. This produces awesome portrait photos which is comparable to Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra and it's a bit better than Mi 11 Ultra. Exposure, details, colors, and overall texture processing, everything is better. However, separation line cutouts are not as perfect. Separation line blend and bokeh effect performance is also not very consistent. Overall, it's difficult to judge and a lot depends on personal preferences. The first thing I have noticed in ultra-wide photos is FOV, field of view. Among all the flagship smartphones, Sony Xperia 1 Mark III has the narrowest field of view on ultra-wide mode. Apart from that, another thing surprised me, there is no artificial scene optimization. Almost perfect representation of the scene, this is amazing. But wait, Mi 11 Ultra obviously has better dynamic range, more details and more textures are processed. Shadows are more like flip-flop situations, sometimes better on Xperia 1 Mark III and then sometimes better on Mi 11 Ultra. But that slight saturation along with a bit warm tone makes things artificial on Mi 11 Ultra. Yes, it looks better, more like eye candy. Spatially, look at the sky. That's what Mi AI or scene optimization does and I am not a fan of that heavy processing. I have tried to take photos without AI on Mi 11 Ultra and there isn't much of a difference. It's like already built in in the algorithm. Yes, these photos are taken on auto mode cause most of the general users takes photos in auto mode. Sony Xperia 1 Mark III got two different options. One is basic mode, which in general is the auto mode and there is another selection available called auto, but that one is actually more like the pro mode of Mi 11 Ultra. After looking a bunch of daytime photos side by side, one thing for sure, Sony Xperia 1 Mark III with T-star coated Jais lens offers natural color rendition with neutral white balance. But there are a few issues I have found in that Camera Pro software algorithm, especially on auto or basic mode. Yes, if you have the time, you can use different options in program mode and that definitely increases performance. However, Mi 11 Ultra with MIUI 12.5.4 has proven its value. In terms of details, sharpness and texture processing, both did well, fought neck and neck, but I must mention, Sony Xperia 1 Mark III most of the time grabbed more details, processed textures with correct sharpness. Okay, that's it. Other than that, vibrant shadow details, vivid colors, better and wider dynamic range puts Mi 11 Ultra photos well ahead. Mi 11 Ultra produces photos that is almost social media ready, while Sony Xperia 1 Mark III produces images that portrays reality. Yes, as usual, there are some differences and those are mostly related to personal preferences. It's not like there are differences that defines quality. Both of these two smartphones generates very good daytime pictures. I would choose some of those eye-pleasing shots by Mi 11 Ultra for my Instagram and then I would save some of those natural photos taken by Xperia 1 Mark III for future. Yeah, it's a bit disappointing, I haven't found any option for 8K video recording on Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. These video clips were recorded at 4K, both of these two smartphones got optical image stabilization, 
I have tried to shake the smartphones a bit but I do not see any jelly effect and both did very well. Truly, both of these two smartphones records amazing 4K videos, super crisp videos with full of details but Mi 11 Ultra processed textures more efficiently and overall video quality on Mi 11 Ultra looks a bit better. But dynamic range on Sony Xperia 1 Mark III is slightly better in 4K and colors are also very natural. Comparing selfie photos of Mi 11 Ultra with other smartphones is a bit of a trouble cause Mi 11 Ultra can take selfie photos with its rear camera setup but here I have taken all the photos with the front sensors of these two smartphones. I'm very annoyed to see how Xperia 1 Mark III has processed all these selfie photos with a bit too much beautification, artificial skin fairness, low dynamic range and low ambience. Anyway, Mi 11 Ultra with more details, true to life skin tone, higher dynamic range, better texture processing, lucrative bokeh and better edge cutouts wins this selfie battle by a mile. Finally, I know you have been waiting for this night mode performance of two monsters. Before I say another word, I will let you enjoy a few photos. If you don't know yet, then there is no such night mode in Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. But there are a few options and selections available to take nighttime photos with long exposure. Mi 11 Ultra with MIUI 12.5.4 is already known for better night mode performance. In my other camera comparison video, it has done even better than iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yes, a lot depends on how you like your photos. Some people would say, if night mode photos are not bright enough, if it's not visible, then why we need night mode? But I think there are four factors that defines a good night mode photo. I call it DENS, details, exposure, noise and shadows. If any smartphone can get these four correct in night mode photos, then I will surely go with that. Here in this comparison, Mi 11 Ultra got more details, balanced exposure, low noise and shadows are far better. What do you think? Which one is better? Other than a Xiaomi hater, everybody have to accept that Mi 11 Ultra has done better. Now let's talk about the colors, red, green and blue. Whenever there is anything red in the crosshair of Mi 11 Ultra camera lens, it will increase midtones and saturate the color. Exposure and shadows also performs unusually, while Xperia 1 Mark III among any smartphones performs the best. Now, if there is anything green, again, Xperia 1 Mark III does fairly well, but even if Mi 11 Ultra applies warm color temperature, details and textures are similar to Xperia 1 Mark III. Sometimes it's actually better on Mi 11 Ultra. Surprisingly, when it's all about blue, Sony Xperia 1 Mark III goes for warm color temperature and Mi 11 Ultra goes for cooler color temperature. These videos were recorded at 4K and I was walking a bit fast, didn't try to hold the smartphones very carefully, I wanted to see how's the stabilization at night time. Ok, there is an international smartphone giveaway going on for the subscribers of this channel. I will pick a winner at the end of the month based on valid and creative comments. You can subscribe to this channel and make a valid comment explaining which smartphone did better in night mode videos and join the giveaway. Well, it's time to wrap up, it's time to give a verdict, but I don't think we have to give a verdict. The verdict is already there. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra did way better than Sony Xperia 1 Mark III. And considering the price of Sony Xperia 1 Mark III, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is way better. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to make a comment and let me know which smartphone actually did.